if you had to throw together a quick list of locations that classic horror movies often use, the likelihood is that summer camps would make it somewhere onto that list. It's something about their promise of sun-soaked fun and treasured childhood memories that makes summer camps the perfect setting for some very unpleasant events. I'm Amy from What Culture, and here are the 10 best summer camp horror movies. 10. Camp Days as is one of the traditions with teen slashers, this film opens with two horny teenagers sneaking away into the bushes, only to be murdered for their trouble. The setting for this killing is an 80s summer camp, but then immediately we're hit with something a bit different as we take a time jump 24 years into the future. Now in an early 2000s setting, we see four friends driving through the same area. That is until, of course, their car breaks down. They're taken to the nearby summer camp where everything appears to be stuck in the 80s, and they soon discover that the whole place is stuck in a time loop around a horrific night-long massacre. At the same time as having to worry about surviving the night, the quartet must find a way to break the cycle before they each take their place in the murderous repetition. Everyone loves a time loop, and when you add a bit of slasher fun and a classic summer camp setting into the equation, you've got the perfect easy-watching horror experience. 9. Twisted Nightmare Before anyone gets angry, it needs to be clarified that this film is by no means means a cinematic masterpiece, but instead it sits comfortably in the so bad it's good category. With performances so perfectly styled that it dates the film instantly to the late 80s, and a twisted if not slightly contrived plot to complement them, you know pretty quickly that the fun you'll derive from this movie may mostly be at its own expense. After receiving a mysterious letter claiming that she's won a weekend trip to the summer camp she attended as a child, Laura and her boyfriend Sean head to Camp Paradise for a nice little weekend mini break. Laura is slightly nervous about returning to the camp because just a few years prior, her brother died there mysteriously. But hey, why trust your gut when you're getting a free vacation? After the first night, some of the camp attendees develop enough brain cells to question their invitations and soon become even more worried when they discover two of their friends have been brutally murdered. A killer is at large amongst the camp returnees and from the looks of things, he's larger and more powerful than your average mad man. With tales of old native curses accompanied by a beastly unknown killer, this film blends supernatural and slasher together in a way that will keep you guessing. If what you're after is a summery supernatural slasher with all the silly fun that the 80s had to offer, then this is the one for you. 8. Madman, 1981 This early 80s slasher was originally going to be based on the New York urban legend Cropsy. Unfortunately for the production team, however, another film had already called dibs on that antagonist and had started work on it earlier, so they had to make a few last-minute changes to their plans. Instead, this film revolves around the fictional urban legend of Madman Mars, a murderer who killed his wife and children with an axe and can be summoned by anyone simply by saying his name. After telling the story of Mars around a campfire, of course, one camper had to get cocky and summon him. As expected, all hell breaks loose and one by one, each of the campers and counsellors are hunted down. It's got all the elements of the quintessential summer camp slasher, complete with the urban legend, the axe murderer, the annoying teenagers, and a whole load of gory death. It's not sophisticated filmmaking in any sense of the word, but it offers up exactly what you want from this niche, and it does so with pride. 7. Cheerleader Camp 1988 Originally titled Bloody Pom Poms, which was actually much better and they should have kept it, this film documents the exploits of a bunch of cheerleaders attending camp to train for their competition. Our main girl, Alison, is haunted by nightmares about the competition and her teammates that correlate strongly with their deaths and disappearances, leading her to worry that she may be committing murderous acts without remembering. After some pranks go wrong and the deaths start stacking up, things get a bit more sinister, and the cheerleaders find themselves in a fight for survival. There's nothing that screams USA quite like a bit of cheerleader drama at a quintessentially American summer camp, lending this film some classic Americana charm. Steering away from the usual axe-wielding serial killer approach, Cheerleader Camp instead offers up a mysterious murderer amongst the ranks of the teams. It's the combination of the 80s aesthetics and the killer intrigue that makes this film worth a watch. 6. The Final Girls 
first hitting our screens in 2015, The Final Girls takes inspiration from the established 80s camp slashers and turns them into something new, lively and energetic. After stepping through the cinema screen to escape a fire in the theatre, a group of friends find themselves transported into the film they were watching, the reassuringly titled Camp Bloodbath. The film is an archetypal teenage slasher, where a masked killer works his way through a group of camp counsellors, picking them off one at a time. Thing is, now that they're inside the movie, the plot can go off course, and characters that previously saw things through to the end are just as vulnerable as the rest. In an attempt to keep as many characters alive as possible, the friends employ their knowledge of the plot and cliches to protect them, giving a whole new meaning to the phrase plot armour. It's bright and fun, and it injects some new life into the settings and tropes we've come to love since the golden age of the 80s slasher. 5. Stage Fright If what you've been missing in your life is a musical, comedy, horror movie, then listen up, because I've got something for you. Buddy and Camilla are the children of a Broadway star tragically killed in her prime, who have since been raised by Roger, their mother's former lover and the producer at a failing musical theatre camp. Camilla desperately wants to be involved with the production at the camp, but as the day of the performance creeps ever closer and the bodies begin stacking up, we realise something sinister might be going on behind the velvet velvet curtains. It's got everything you didn't know you wanted, from an abundance of annoying theatre kids getting killed off to a bad parody of a famous Broadway masterpiece. Ali MacDonald, previously seen in horror offerings such as The Barons and House at the End of the Street, does a great job as our leading lady, accompanied by equally entertaining supporting performances by Big Love's Douglas Smith and the one and only Meatloaf. 4. Friday the 13th this is a film that needs no introduction, given its well-cemented status in the Horror Hall of Fame. It was the first rodeo we ever went on with the now legendary Voorhees family and is probably one of the most well-known films amongst the Summer Camp Collective. Camp Crystal Lake seems to be plagued with murders in the years following a young boy's drowning in 1957. Counselors are being picked off en route to or on site of the camp, and even after a sleek new refurbishment, the camp's history can't be wiped away. On first release, a lot of critics compared it to John Carpenter's Halloween, stating that it paled in comparison even with its intense, semi-realistic murders and gore. In the time since, however, it's come into its own and gained a fandom independent of comparisons. It's such a well-loved film, along with a couple of its sequels, surprisingly, because it introduced such an interesting villain and a fantastic double twist. Its staying power is a testament to how well the film plays its cards in terms of plot and cliches, not letting itself be defined by a formula, but instead being one of the main films that helped shape the genre. 3. The Burning Remember earlier when we mentioned that another film had called Dibs on Cropsy? Well, this is the film. Whilst this rendition does differ from the original urban legend, it shares a few things in common. New York's original legendary Cropsy was an escaped mental patient with a hook for a hand, who kidnapped children and dragged them to the tunnels under an old hospital. Here, however, Cropsy is a once respectable man who, after being subject to a cruel prank gone wrong at the hands of some campers, suffers life-changing injuries. After getting out of hospital years later, he seeks revenge and heads to another camp, Camp Stonewater. From here, he hacks, slashes and stabs his way through the camp's residence, even dragging one or two down to some abandoned mines in what could be an homage to the original legend. It's got a couple of classic tropes that date it firmly in the precious early 80s era of horror, and more than a few spectacular gory attacks. If you've ever wanted to see a group of campers get attacked on a canoe in the middle of a lake, then this sure is the movie for you. 2. Sleepaway Camp This film is probably best known for its shocking twist ending, with one particular scene often doing the rounds on social media. Aside from this, however, it's also an unmistakable staple of this genre niche. After a child is tragically killed by a careless speedboat driver near Camp Arawak, the child's sibling, Angela, is years later sent to the camp to experience it for the first time with her cousin Ricky. Angela gets bullied and harassed, and Ricky often has to step in to defend her. However, after a while, a pattern emerges that sees those who've wronged Angela end up dead or injured in bizarre accidents. With a list of entertaining kills and a race to track down the killer, this film is certainly engaging, if not slightly ridiculous at times. Because of the whole dead child in a lake premise, people sometimes try to compare it to Friday the 13th. But aside from the fact that their plots are entirely different, this film also holds its own without being pushed into obscurity by the Voorhees' shadow. 
shadow. 1. You Might Be The Killer The final and most recent entry to this list, You Might Be The Killer, came out in 2018 to give horror fans their newest dose of meta-slasher goodness. We've gotten so used to the same kind of introductions to these films that it's quite refreshing to see something new, and something new this is. Lead counsellor and camp owner Sam calls his friend Charlotte in a panic, explaining that there's a killer loose in his camp and he needs help deducing who it is. Given that Charlotte, or Chuck for short, is a horror movie loving nerd working in a comic book store, she seems quite fit for the job of deducing the killer behind the movie like mayhem. As the pair of them go through the events of the night and the identities of the other counsellors, thinking in line with movie logic, they narrow down their search and can begin formulating a plan. When you've had enough of the older style of the films in this list, then this can refresh your love for the past's horror output, whilst at the same time bringing you into the 21st century with its humour and self-awareness. And with that, we've reached the end of this list of the 10 best summer camp horror movies. What is your favourite summer camp based horror? Let us know in the comments down below. And remember to check out whatculture.com for more lists and articles like this every single day. I've been Amy from Whatculture and I'll catch you next time.